You know, it's time for Feel Good Friday, where we bring you a little good news heading into the weekend. So what do you see when you look in the mirror? Now look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I see Junior. You see Junior. Well, you want to know what I see? I see pride. I see power. I see a bad mother who don't take no crap of nobody. So you ready to feel the rhythm? Feel the rhyme? Well, get on up. It is bobsled time. You may have recognized that clip from the Disney movie Cool Runnings, inspired by the first appearance of the Jamaican bobsled team in the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. Well, it looks like we have a real-time, real-life sequel happening before our eyes because for the first time in 24 years, Jamaica will compete in the four-man bobsled after many years of training, injuries, frustrations, even a global pandemic, this team has made history by even qualifying for the games. Joining me now, two of those stars, Jamaican Olympic bobsled team pilot Sean Wayne Stevens and Jamaican Olympic bobsled team brakeman Matthew Weckbay. Guys, so good to see you. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for having us. Okay, you guys are being way too mellow right now because when we talked before the break, <laughs> I asked you both. Matthew, <laughs> what do you see in the mirror? I see pride. I see power. <laughs> Sean Wayne? I see pride. I see power. Oh, my goodness gracious. Matthew, you're going to need to goose him in the bobsled because he's going to need a little more energy here, okay? <laughs> All right, so... I'm supposed to be in the mellow one. Okay. <laughs> Sean Wayne, what was your first reaction when you found out you were actually going to the Olympics? No, we're absolutely over the moon. I mean, it's been a, a, a rough, uh, it's been a lot of struggles over the last four years to obviously achieve what we've achieved. And we've done absolutely everything in our power and everybody's come together as one team to be able to, to, to qualify for the game. So it's been absolutely amazing and everybody's really excited and, and, and can't wait to get to Beijing and uh, perform. Well, I think you can tell we're excited too. Matthew, how about you when you got the news? Um, it was amazing, to be honest. Um, Literally, I, I started bobsleigh over the lockdown. Shangmain reached out to the Jamaican Sevens team, so I play, who I played for as well, and kind of gave me that opportunity. And I said yes. And you know, a year later, being able to call myself an Olympian is just—it's an amazing feeling. Tell you what, you're a renaissance man. I'd love to play uh, all those sports with you. Sean Wayne, Jamaica is not an easy place to train, as we all know, for a winter sport with all the beautiful weather, the tropical climate. And on top of that, you dealt with the pandemic, but you still managed to make the Queen of England laugh. Let's take a look. So how do you train? Uh, so, uh, during the lockdown, unfortunately, with all the gyms and everything closed, oh, yes. we to sort of resort to unorthodox sort of training methods. So, I've been uh, pushing a car up and down the street. I've had to make a gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way to train. <laughs> okay, I think that's the first time I ever saw the Queen really get a good belly laugh. I love it. <laughs> you're, you're not only, you know, the team pilot, Sean Wayne, but you also served in the Royal Air Force, which is why you had this connection. Looks like the Queen is digging you. What was it like talking to her? Yeah, no, it was, it was absolutely amazing to be able to obviously uh, speak to Her Majesty and tell her about our unique training, um, unique training uh, experience and and telling her about Bob Slane as, as well, it, it was amazing. And to get that response from her, um, you can tell she was generally interested in in what we were, what we were doing and stuff. And um, I think she, she's definitely uh, a num one of our, our biggest fans. Yeah, it's a good fan to have. Were you really pushing cars? Uh, yeah, we actually were pushing my fiance's uh, uh, Mini Cooper up and down the street uh, to sort of replicate sort of, um, <laughs> resistance training. <laughs> we have to do what we have to do to be able to be fully prepared for obviously qualifying for Beijing. So, okay, I love how Matthew is laughing. Matthew, are you saying you weren't pushing the Mini Cooper? I wasn't pushing the Mini, mini Cooper. It wasn't about um, athletes and Um But yeah, you know, if I was there, I would have been pushing it as well. 
<laughs> okay, good. So, Matthew, uh, as you know, the 1988 Jamaican bobsled team faced a pretty uh, brutal crash. Um, it was hard to watch. You know, do the injuries, you know, this is the serious side of the sport, right? We're having fun talking about yeah. the movie and, and all of that. But there are, you know, it's dangerous. Does that ever scare you? Is that ever on your mind? Um, it always is. You know, you have to be prepared for these things. But I do have a lot of faith in my driver. Well, you know, I hope so. <laughs> and, you know, you just got to believe in him and just know that, you know, he's going to take you down the track. But as you said, yeah, you do get injuries and you just have to, you know, stay prepared. And, you know, it does help having a good kind of physio on board who's helped me a lot personally. So, yeah. Oh, well, you know, you bring up a good point, uh, Matthew. Sean Wayne, look, your Royal Air Force, you know, you talk about the ultimate pilot. Do you think that training and that experience helped you, you know, in this Olympic sport? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, being in the military, it's all about being calm and collective and uh, being able to sort of think on your feet. And that definitely uh, comes across into to Bob Slane. Uh, when you're driving a sled, you've got to be calm and collected and being able to, to think on your feet and, and being able to process things really, really quickly. So, um, yeah, it's definitely uh, come across uh, both into military and into sport. Um, but, yeah, like Matthew said, uh, the guys have uh, a lot of trust in me. And uh, I also have a lot of trust in the guys as well. So, um, yeah. Well, Matthew, what do you think? Is there going to be a sequel? Because a lot of people have been asking if there's going to be a cool runnings too based on you guys. Well, you know, I would love it. It would be amazing. I do have a lucky egg, which isn't actually a lucky egg. So I'll be taking that down the track with me at the games. So, um, you know, maybe we'll prompt some possible <laughs> sequels. I love it. We are going to be rooting for you guys. Sean Wayne, Matt, so great to have you today. You really, you got us off to a great start for the weekend. Appreciate you both. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Good luck. Bring back the gold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.